Hey guys, hope y'all all doing all right. Uh, sorry for the late video. Uh, went on a trip this past weekend. Didn't make, get to make this video until tonight, Tuesday night. Uh, anyway, Thomas from Southern Outdoors NC. Hope y'all all doing great today. Um, what I want to show you is, is uh, I made a video a few weeks ago on how to spool a bait caster with just, you know, just some simple stuff you got around the house. Uh, this I just took a, uh, I think it's a half inch piece of plywood, drove a nail in the back of it, come to the front of it, you know, just went straight through it there in the middle. And you can take your spool or fishing line, whatever kind you might have, just set it on here. And you take this piece of wood right here, put it on the table, put your clamp on of some kind, vice grips, clamp, whatever you want to do, set your line down on it and you start spooling if you line. Simple as that. Well today, we're going to do something a little different. Today guys, we're going to spool up our spinning rod. Uh, this fishing line I've had on here for over a year now, it's still good. I mean, it's, it's, it's in good shape, but I feel like it's time to go ahead and change it out. So I just bought some of this strand uh, Fishing line, it's just the original strand, four pound test. I like putting four pound test on this ultra light setup. Cause uh, I really like using these little crappy jigs. I mean, they re work really good. I uh, use a little 16th or eight ounce, eighth ounce jig, uh, jig head on them. They work great. They'll catch about anything in the water. They're a lot of fun to cast out and, and catch whatever, so. All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a spinning reel version. Uh, you're taking, this is going to actually be mounted on here like this. And the line's going to come off like this onto your spinning rod or reel and uh, help you keep from getting a bunch of twists in your line. Because we all know if you don't put it on there right, you're going to get a bunch of twists. It's going to make you aggravated. You're going to end up throwing all this line away. You're going to strip it all off, go buy more. It's gonna waste your money. So that's one tip we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to, we're gonna show you how to put this on there, spin rod and reels, uh, and help you save some money and a little frustration. So let's get with it, guys. Uh, after you found your piece of plywood that you want to use, all you gotta do next is get you a, a bit uh, that'll fit your bolt that you're gonna to use to go through the board. Uh, drill it out just a little bit bigger than that that bolt hole. Basically, all you gotta do from this point, we'll open this pack here up. And see, you got your hole right here. I'm taking just, put that on there just like that. I'm gonna take my nut, take my nut and put it on here. And that's the wrong nut. Just something to hold it still so uh, the line will come off. All right, that's basically it, guys. That's all you gotta do. So once you get your line on, you know, get your line off your off your rod. So I hadn't stripped the line off this off this rod and reel here yet. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Open up my bail up and start stripping it off. All right, guys. Here's all my fishing line. I'm gonna take and get rid of it. Next step is gonna be trying to figure out which way the line is coming off. So, cause you wanna put this, you wanna put it back on the reel the way it's gonna spool up on like this right here. So we're gonna make sure we got that right before we go any further. It's gonna tie an old fisherman's knot right here. I'm gonna cut the excess off, make sure I don't cut the wrong one. So I had to turn my, my spool around so it would come off in the right direction. Hi right, guys, so I got maybe actually a little bit too much on here, but I got right about enough where it come up where it's come up almost to the spool here to the top of it. You want to leave a little bit there 
you don't want to reel it all the way to the very where it comes all the way up here level you don't want that because if you do all that line will start shooting off your end of your spool take and put my little piece of tape that comes with it back down on the spool i still got enough left for another spool up so now i'm gonna put my jig back on if you guys want to see me tie a union knot want to know how to tie it and how to tie up carolina rig and all that stuff i put a video out a few months ago on how to do all that it's a great time to be using uh carolina rig in springtime spring on into summer i was going to show y'all guys real quick my crappy kit here's my crappy kit and and panfish kit i got if you never got if you guys never use these little crickets oh boy they love these little crickets i got the the green i've always caught fish really well with that green uh not so much this color but that this little green one right here oh killer killer little bait killer and of course the little maps uh spinners got those i actually got a little i think it's a little panther martin I need to replace the hooks on it. I only got two hooks on the back of that little bad boy right there, but that's a good little, good little color right there. But I've got a lot of different colors in here. I personally like this style of head. I personally like that one. Um, and my favorite color for pan fishing is actually this little blue and white. I love that color right there. That one right there works great. And I, I do have a lot of a lot of good luck with this red, blue, and white. That one works really well too. Um, but I, I've got a lot of colors in here that I like to, like to throw. This one right here is a good one. It's got that funky colored head on it. Kind of matches. I think that actually come with this kit. I love pan fishing. Pan fishing is so fun. You get into them, you just catch them left and right. I just want to show you that real quick. All right, guys. Uh, hope, hope you've got something out of this video. Hope I've taught you something. Hope I showed you how to do something that that might help you in the future. Um, spool up your your spin reels. Something real easy. Something real simple. You want that line. To be on here like this so that 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 line is going to come off however you know it's spooled on here you want to come off the same way that you're reeling it onto your reel so it was hard to show you that uh with that that line um might make a future video with some braid because i got a lot of i got a lot of braid at, uh spin rod and reels i got to change this year so i might do a future video with braid so you can see a little bit better guys if you like the video please leave me a like and if you have not uh subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it if you're a new viewer please hit that subscribe button guys if you have not signed up for my giveaway i got a huge giveaway that i'm doing right now uh till march 1st it's going to end on march 1st or at 2,000 subscribers i think i'm around 18 12 right now so i got uh, a little less than 200 to go just about a half a month left of this month uh i'd love to be able to end the end it early we'll have 10 different winners be sure to go on that video i'll put a link to it right here just click on this link on this video and it'll take you right to it do everything in the description that i ask um and you're good to go so um i appreciate all the support i appreciate you watching these videos um if there's a if there's an idea for a future video that you want to see let me know if there's a specific bait i know a lot of you has has told me you know in the in the giveaway video you know i've asked you what you like what you what i can improve and stuff like that a lot of you have said you wanted me to do review bait you, you want me to do reviews on baits tell me what baits you want me to re do reviews on i mean it, Good gosh, there's all kinds of baits out there. So if there's something specific 
that you want to see, let me know it. Because if, if not, you know, I'm not going to know what you guys are wanna, going to want to be seeing. So, I mean, I've got tons and tons of baits that I can show you guys, but I want to know kind of what you guys are wanting to see. So a little, a little bit, just, just please be a little specific on what baits that you want me to, to, to do reviews on. And I will also try to do a how-to on those baits uh, in the future as well. Just keep that in mind when, when, you, when you give me these ideas. I greatly appreciate it. It really helps me out. Uh, on, on what you want to see because I want I want I want to put out videos that, that, that is going to be what you want to see Guys, I'm going to try to have a fishing video for Friday. If not, I'm going to do another review video So if there's something specific that you want to see um, Let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to try to get it done for you For Friday's video if I don't if I can't get a fishing video in guys till next time y'all take care And we'll see you next video